Okay, so next I'm going to talk about Melaleuca, which is uh, the scientific name for the tea tree. So Melaleuca comes from uh, my home country of Australia and has been used throughout Australian history. Um, it's a very powerful medicinal plant and has many antiviral and antibacterial properties. So it's the first thing that I would reach for when my kids start, or I, start coming down with any sort of like earache, sore throat, um, even an eye infection. I've had, um, even my dad actually had like kind of an kind of a pain in his eye. It felt like something was in his eye and we just gently rubbed a couple of drops of melaleuca under each eye and the pain went away from that. So, you know, when you wake up in the morning with kind of like a scratchy throat and you're like, Ugh, here we go, I'm coming down with something. I will, the first thing I will do is gargle or drink a drop of melaleuca in some water. And if I am really on top of doing that, like every two hours, I usually feel better by midday and it doesn't develop into anything else. So it's very powerful in like nipping a sore throat type situation. Um, for earaches as well, it's, it's amazing how quickly it will work. So if you have the onset of an earache or some sort of ear infection, um, I'll just put a drop and rub like around and behind the ears. So you never want to put an essential oil inside your ear. You can put a drop of tea tree melaleuca on a cotton ball and like pop that just gently inside the ear for kids if they're going to bed and they have like a bit of an achy ear. But even just around and behind is all you need because it enters um, your system really quickly and will really work on um, fighting that virus. So same if, you know, just say you've had like a kid over for a play date and you notice they had a bit of a gunky eye situation and you're like, oh great, now the rest of my family is going to get pink eye conjunctivitis. You can protect your family by just gently, and if you want to mix it with coconut oil, just if you have young children, um, you just gently put a little bit just under the eye about here and it really helps to protect the eyes. Um, I was on a plane just a few days ago and there was a little boy in the aisle across from us probably two years old and as we started to descend he's he was clutching his ear and screaming like you know when you start the the air pressure changes and your ears can pop and it could be really painful and you know if there's babies on the plane they're always screaming because that really is hard for them to know how to like unblock their ears um this often, I often get an earache when we're going up and down in a plane, so I just put melaleuca around my ear and I offered it to this mum and she put it around the kid's ear and he stopped crying immediately and did not cry again. He'd been screaming for like a few minutes, so she was really blown away by how quickly that worked. So just something so simple as that. I'll put it on the soles of the feet as well if I'm, if I'm fighting any sort of um, virus. Uh, it's really soothing and healing for if you get cuts and scrapes and um, if any of you have an active young child, you know that you're going to have skinned knees come, come running in uh, often throughout the day. So I'll just put a drop of that and it's quite warm and soothing. It doesn't sting. So that's a really nice way to like create a little boo-boo spray. Maybe you want to combine lavender and melaleuca in a spray bottle and just spritz that on if anyone has a cut or a scrape. Um, yeah, it's a really powerful oil. It's not one that I enjoy the smell of a lot, but it works wonders for so many things that it's it's a, a an oil that we use daily. So enjoy tea tree just like the koala bears do. Bye.